this fastball. There's a liner into the right center field gap. That'll be a base hit. They will send Kreider. Here comes the throw in from Corin Blatt. Cut off, and Kreider does score the first upstate run of the game, and Samples is now the RBI leader on the team with his 15th. Runners leading. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss. Raised the level on McGowan and blows him away for his first strikeout of the day. That's not only out here on the field, but also in the clubhouse. And you can see... Why that's the case is they leave him in the four spot, but he's going to end up grounding into a double play, which will produce just the one run. So the Spartans will trade two outs for the lead. Repertoire. Here's the 1-1. One, one. This one's lined through the right side. It's going to get through and into right field for a base hit. Kornblad up with it. They're going to send the runner. The throw is cut off, and Upstate has a 3-1 lead. How about Matt Fincher moving the base runner right. and creating a scoring opportunity? He bats with a 2-1 count here in the fourth. Here's the 2-1. This one's into the gap. That's going to be another upstate run. All the way down in the left center field gap coming around is Lesh. And Matt Fincher is pushing all the right buttons right now, moving those runners, and the Spartans have scored a couple. Third time through the lineup, this is actually the fifth inning where it would tie his longest outing of the season if he can get through it. Battles back with a solid pitch, forces Savakinas to chase it, and there's – only the second punch out of the game for Dylan Parker. Comes at it. Of what has been a one for two day, he will wave at a breaking pitch. One of the better off-speed pitches we've seen from Parker in the ball game, and that's the second out on Parker's third strikeout of the day to Savakinas, the second baseman. Swing and a miss, strike three. That'll help his defense. Daniel Seba gets the strikeout in what was a sacrifice situation for Savakinas have now pushed ahead as they try and take two out of three, which would be only their second and third wins of the season if they could take the series from the Spartans. And here's a good strikeout. Nice job by Samples. Here's the payoff pitch. Key moments in the late innings, and he gets him to swing and miss at the off-speed pitch that will send us to the bottom of the ninth. The Spart Here comes the 3-1 pitch. This one's lifted high in the air into right. That should Corin do it. Blatt's back. This should tie it. Weber tagging from third. The throw in will not be in time. They will also move the runner's samples from second to third, and now we know the game will at least continue. Here's the one-two. Grounded towards short. Going to be a tough play for Barron. It gets through, and the Spartans are going to win it in the bottom of the ninth. Barron had been so sure-handed in this third game of the series, and he ends up knowing the game is on the line and sees it go right through. He stays stationary at shortstop, and the Spartans will dogpile one another out at that second base area as they have taken the series from the LaSalle Explorers with two runs in the bottom of the ninth. It's a 6-5 upstate.